dude. bangs. All right. Absolutely, dude. Dude, so. it's it's a uh, it's a timeless it's a timeless style. I feel like. <laughs> it's a timeless style. Yeah. All right. So as as like a very like new melee player, uh -huh. I, I'm gonna play the role of the person who doesn't know very much about the game, and I'm gonna okay. ask you a lot of questions. So that's great. That would work great. So what do you think is the like Fox's strategy in this matchup overall? I think it depends a lot on the Fox, honestly. I think some people are gonna. Oh wow! Oh my god. Swooped out of that. Nice Some room. people are gonna prefer to try to play it safe, run away, and shoot lasers because Puff dies at a really low percent from either up smash or up throw up air. Right. Um, whereas certain, you know, other players might choose to play it more aggressive. Uh, but really, yeah, the goal is to. I mean, this is a really fast tumultuous matchup. I mean, it's really volatile because volatile because yeah. both both characters can kill each other so easily, as right. we just saw there yeah. on both stocks. So Adma normally plays Sheik. Have you ever Sheik anything, or Peach? Do you know anything about his fox? At so all? I, it's interesting. I don't really, <laughs> but I, but he's. I, I've always known he's a lot. Like I played his Marth. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty good. He looks really really technical actually. I see him hitting these like some hit the mid length uh, side B, which is a really tough input and. Yeah. You know, a lot of really good movement, like looking like a fox main, but is it going to be enough? That's going to be the right. question here. Yeah. Gosh, it just, it just seems like as though like, <coughs> Hungry Box is so good at like conditioning you and understanding like the timing of when the fox is going to come in. Like, and it, wow, that wow. up air was there. You insane. go. <laughs> that just kills it like a super early percent. Yeah. So, what do you think is the motivation for uh, Hungry Box to go to the stage for the first game? Like, I mean, traditionally, isn't this seen as a weaker kind of stage, stage for buff? Dude, yeah. you know, it's actually interesting. I rode. Uh, from the airport to the venue yesterday with Hungrybox in the car. Yeah. And he never got around to explaining why, but he told me that his new, uh, like, philosophy is that the best stage for Puff vs. Fox is Yoshi's. I, I don't know right. anything beyond that. That's what he said. So I guess he likes it. Yeah, I mean, like, I think I saw this pick at TFC, or, like, when he, like, went to, like, he played against some, like, Fox called, like, I don't know. I don't remember the Fox that he played against, but the point is he went to the stage. Yeah, I think he played stage. against DJ. Okay. He played against DJ Nintendo and he went to the stage. Interesting. It's... Really it's, I mean, you're always pretty much in contact with your opponent. They're not going to be able to run away from you. I see. Uh, so there is that. There is the fact that, wow, and that, wow. that'll kill. I mean, but that could also just happen. And uh, yeah. Dark Atma looking. I want to see him uh, just not fall for the, you know, if he, he could really close this out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you crazy. know, I think this is doable for Atma. It really is. If he can just get, you know, get in once, really. Right. Put on... Oh, that was almost nice. Really good. There you go. And he's already at 30, 40. Right. And I mean, he's been consistently killing oh. him at like around oh my 60. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Right. Like I mean, up to up air now, we'll we'll kill. Him. I so. really like that Atma's playing very conservative here. Like he's he's not afraid to like sit under Puff with his shield. You know, like yeah. a lot of players are like afraid to kind of challenge Puff in that way, right? Like, yeah. And he's like, like look at that. You know, he like wave dashing the shield. He doesn't like he doesn't mind because he knows that Hungrybox is gonna risk challenging him with grab. And look and at there that. There it is. Dark Atma. What a guy! Yeah. What a fox! Look at that! Look so, at that face, so he dude. Really, he—I mean, he does what he's doing. That was great. All that—that—that that, that shield movement on the last stock. Yeah. Um, getting ready to, you know, shield back airs as they come and wave dash out and was, reposition himself appropriately. That's I, good. He knows what he's doing. Go he ahead. Like wave dash on a shield, right? Like that's like, really important because like it allowed. It mean it meant that hungry fox like couldn't just rely on him to sit there. That was really good. Exactly. Like, staying mobile, I think, is so important. Staying mobile. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And especially out of your shield too, because if you try to do aerials out of your shield, um, you're not going to be able to keep up with puffs. You know, side to side horizontal mobility in the right. air. Whereas with wave dash out of shield and and you know uh, various follow ups, you know you have an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Okay. So now H box is going to Dreamland. So I guess he decided all right, big <laughs> stage after all. Right. But you know, Atma has the right idea here, right? Like he's he running does. away, pelting him with lasers. Like, look at that. Like nice shield. Like uh -huh. he's not falling for the hungry fox back air. Like playing pretty. Like I said, pretty conservative. Like. Yeah. Nice. That was a good dash tackle on the box also. That it was. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that, that may have been just what uh, Dark Admin needed. Nice. Running, okay. Finds an up smash, but it sends him the wrong way. Wow. Nice. Great up air. Great up air. Nice recognition there, right? Like, he is knew the Hungry Box is going to go. himself to take this set? Oh, man. This would be a great upset, right? Like, uh, Midwest is free? Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, dude. Hey, as soon as the oh no, go ahead. Oh no, no, you can, no, like I mean, I was just saying, like, soon, I mean, we saw against Matt Dotsevo earlier. You kind of jumped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I, I know, dude. That's, that was, that was, that was pretty, that was, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny set. Yeah, he, who did he go? Peach or Sheik? Or? I think one Sheik. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his Sheik's really good. Wow, that was a really technical thing. He, like, he did the shine turnaround, like, jump was sick. Yeah. See, like, he looks as, I mean, he looks like a fox player. He doesn't look like some guy who's like, all right, I'm gonna counter pick. This, uh, I'm gonna counter pick H bus and Foss and beat him. Right. Yeah, and I think that's really important. When you pull out a counter like this, you've got to be really, uh, really confident.
yourself in. That's what Adma's looking like right now. He's looking really, yeah. Yo, just I just looked over. Oh my god. Oh my god. The DI's down, or doesn't DI down, so I did. Okay, and now it's a two stock even match. Yeah. Dude, I, I just looked over there and Hbox was giving me this look. Like, like, he's just not happy. At he's all. not happy, yeah. Like, so you guys know. I love I love that interaction from Atma there where he crossed over while Hungry Box was in shield. Like he it, it like it showed that he wasn't afraid to move around Hungry Box and like again like movement is so key against buff, right? Yeah. Like because like, if you stay still then she gets to like do her meaties with her back air right. and like Zonia. Wow, nice double shine there, like keeping safe, yeah, I like it. Gotcha. It's it's the other thing the other thing too is when you move around oh man. That's good. Well, can uh, he get a kill? he can uh, uh no, I, just I don't, a little, yeah. a little slow. That's fine. That's this is not an insur insurmountable deficit by any means. Absolutely. I mean we saw this kind of deficit on Yoshi's, right? I mean this yeah. is wow. nice jab up air. Oh, uh, but it's Dreamland, it's so big. Yeah. Dude, this fox though. I I'm so impressed, dude. <laughs> I'm this so fox I knew Atma was a good player, and I know that his secondaries oh, are wow. capable, but I didn't know that they could, you know, stand toe to toe with Ace Box. Like, look yeah, at this. Like this. Is he gonna get a rest oh, off this no. though? Oh, dude, wow. Hugging Box conversions off those, like, re red Wow! Tactics. And he gets that up smash. This is totally doable for Atma, this right? This is totally doable for oh, Dude, he was down this much last game. <laughs> the problem is, this is Dreamland, so he's not, it's not a matter of getting him to 30, it's a matter of getting him to, like, 60 or 70. Right. Days. Oh, man. Nice shine there. Yeah, Challenging wow. Hungry Box's jump. Oh, I, I disagree with that. He got a little greedy. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, is this gonna be... Okay, he's back. Oh, the, wow. He, he knows how to do the... the yeah. The ledge dash. The, ledge the invincible dash. one. The invincible <laughs> ledge dash. It's really important. Oh, oh, so clutch. Just gets... All right, but Atman knows. I mean, that was fine. That was Hbox's counter pick. And now it's Atman's turn to take him to a stage where he can kill him at percents before 93 right. or whatever that was. So where do you think Atman will go? Uh, he's hovering over... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> battle, not, not a bad choice. I'm guessing... Huh. I would have expected, honestly, Pokemon Stadium or uh, or, or Final Destination. Yeah. Um, but this is fine, too. I think oh, this wow. is a fine pick, but I think what you have to be worried about, like, I've watched a lot of Hungry Box success, and, like, the kind of problem with going to the stage is that Hungry Box is so good at, like, vertically controlling the space. Like, yes. Like, yes. vertical play is so underrated with Puff. Like, I mean, like, kind of like middle level Puffs, you see, like, they control horizontal space, you know, but, like, Hungry Box is so good vertically, yeah. and it really like it's so tough on the stage. But yeah. Adma's looking real strong right now. I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's not down, but it's not not yeah. out. He's not, but not out. Yeah. If he, oh my god, good recovery. But I think no, I think Hbox is going to this. Oh. Oh, nice, nice, great choice with the down smash. And Hbox pulling into the lead for kind of the first time this set, really. Yeah, I think this is the first time Hbox has really firmly established control. Right. Oh, oh god. gosh, that was that's scary. That's really that was scary, a nice yeah. power shield. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> we both suck right? in our, our to our teeth. That's a scary, scary moment. Oh, up there? Yeah. Oh, nice DI by Hungry Box. Yeah. Great recognition there. That's a tough percent to get it at. Oh my goodness. Hungry Box angling the shield. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think Atma is kind of like gone away from the strategy that was so successful in the first game. Yeah, he was running into shield and out of it a lot, and I feel like he's doing that less. Yeah, and he just needs to show, I think like, I don't know, yeah, that was a technical error. I think he just needs to show Hungrybox that he's like not afraid, like, because he's so, like, Hbox is so good at capitalizing on that. Right, yeah. Yeah, it seemed like the first game and... Oh, I hope he DIs out. Okay. Because if you <laughs> DI in, you get rested. Right oh, no. Through the, oh, my goodness. Through the first and second games, um, he was using a lot of that, you know, running and out of shield. Nice. Oh, oh nice conversion. Con yeah, great conversion. Off of a shield drop. I like that a lot. Midwest getting hype over here for the boy. Yeah. No, if, dude, if, if Admiral wins the set, man, I'm claiming it was NorCal. <laughs> he was in NorCal for quite a while. He went to high school there, so. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. my. Nice oh, tech. Phenomenal. And another. Uh, okay. Jeez, that was crazy. Oh my goodness, and that's it. Oh, that's great effort from Dark Ad. Yeah, you know, like, I think when he goes back and watches the tapes, he'll really kind of like, kind of beat himself up a little bit because he, he, he had it the first two games. His strategy was great, he just went away from it, I think, yeah. the third game. The difference between